Setting the valve lash on an air-cooled VW engine has always confused me. Is it set to six thousandths of an inch or zero? Top dead center or bottom dead center? And in what order? In this video, expert VW engine builder Adam Cottle from Seward Speed Shop walks us through it. The engine you see us working on is the dyno mule from our Building VW Power series. I'll put a link to that series at the end of this video and down in the description. Let's see what we got behind the valve covers. Oh! Nice tight bales. The gasket's coming off in one piece. Kind of, yeah. So it kind of tells me that maybe somebody has been in here before. Wow. And there's not a lot of gunk, is there? No, there's not. Surprisingly. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting a bunch of crud. All right, so we need to get to top dead center, which we're almost there. Now, if they now that we're at top dead center. What if they didn't have a degree wheel? Is there a mark on the stock? There's a mark on the stock pulley on top dead center, Okay. but you're not going to have a mark on bottom dead center. So you just want to make a mark okay, gotcha. uh, directly below top dead center on your pulley. So that way when you do okay. every 180 degrees, you, know, cool. you know where you're at. So. It's easy on the dyno. Under the car, it's a little harder unless you've got two people, but I can see one and two valves working. So we now know that we're on top dead center. That means that either number one or number three can be adjusted. So. Yeah, these are, well, there's one loose one over here, but. And one tight one? Yeah. Is that right? The outside one? Oh, the outside one is tight. Tight. Inside is, is in, loose. And so the inside one is intake, outside is exhaust. Okay. It would make sense that the exhaust valve would be a little tight. Yeah. So, since we're there, let's just go ahead and adjust number three now. Okay. So the factory calls for six thousandths of lash. And we have lash on the intake, but it's loose. So, and we have nothing on the exhaust. So, we'll loosen both of the jam nuts. This one's gonna have to be tightened up. And that, that reads 0 .006. 0 .006. Zero zero six. And you just want a slight drag, is all you want. Then hold it in place with the screwdriver and tighten down the jam nut. And tighten the jam nut. You That's don't simple. have to get crazy with the jam nut. Some people just rank on it, and it's impossible. It Tight. It's not going to fall apart. It's not going to fall off. Just nice and snug. You don't have to. Wow. That one was really tight. So maybe we will see a little bit of a performance increase. We might see something right here. Okay. It's marked out. Firing order is one, four, three, two. So, so, so we did three. We just did three. So, so we're going to rotate it. 180 degrees to bottom dead center. One, four, three, two. So we did three, now we're gonna do two. Gotcha. That's a little loose, and that's a little loose. So let's tighten them both up. Sometimes you'll run through your valves and find that they're all, that they're all right in there and they are nice and snug. So check them before you even waste your time. Yeah, before loosen. you even loosen the jam nut up. Yeah, because you might be just fine and be able to run. Again, holding it in place with the screwdriver. And nice, perfect drag. Now, how often should you do this? Every oil change. Yeah. Yeah. So every, every oil every change. Twenty thousand miles or so. Yeah, about a <laughs> <laughs> something like that. You know. <laughs> Rotate another one eighty. Then we're gonna do which was next in line. We're going to number one. Oh, just the number one, and we are really loose. Really. Yeah, really loose. You know, I, but you couldn't hear it on this engine. One more, moving on to number four. 
It has good compression. Ooh, we finally got one that's perfect. Really? And number four intake, dead on. Well, there you number go. four exhaust. Really? Perfect drag. Well, there you go. We don't have to touch it. Sometimes it happens. And there you go. <laughs> Beautiful. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And I hope you consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.